Hello, I'm Dr. Fernanda Camargo and I am the Equine Extension Professor at the University of Kentucky. So we live here in beautiful Lexington where we have the lush bluegrass and horses that come to this area and other areas also of the country uh, can sometimes become a little bit overweight. It actually comes with the domestication of horses. Before we domesticated horses, they were roaming around and they used the winter to lose weight, the summer to gain weight, and they kept at an optimum body condition year round. What happens now is that with domestication, we started stabling horses and feeding them meals, okay? And we only, a lot of the times, only take this horse out of the stall for the one hour that we ride them a day. So this can actually make a horse, and other conditions also, can make the horse increase their body weight. So what happens? Sometimes we're just killing our horses with love by feeding the already overweight horse. So we need to find a way to decrease the body weight of these horses, and uh, you need to learn how to do a body condition scoring assessment so you can see how your horse is looking now and where he needs to look at, which is a body condition score of about five to a six. So first of all, make sure that your horse doesn't have any medical ailment, such as there is equine metabolic syndrome, there is what used to be called Cushing's syndrome and uh, insulin resistance. So those things can actually help the horse maintain his body weight in a fat way. So what you need to do is analyze, have a veterinarian come and uh, evaluate your horse and see that he doesn't have those diseases. And if they, he does have those kinds of ailments, you're going to have to also do these tips but accompany the horse with the veterinarian. So to help a horse lose weight, the first thing that you need to do is calories, okay, where the calorie comes from and where the calorie, where this calorie is expended. So for example, a quarter horse that was bred to live in Texas and Oklahoma, work in the range all day long and survive with very little. So those animals have become very efficient, what we call efficient. So they eat very little and pack on the weight very, very easily. They are what we call the easy keeper. So there is nothing easy about the easy keeper because they actually can bring uh, problems upon themselves. So those horses, when they are brought from the range in Texas, for example, and that I'm just talking quarter horse, but it can be any other breed. When they are brought from a way that they are working all the time and expending energy into a sedentary lifestyle, they are going to pack on the weight very, very easily. So what we have to do is number one, we have to decrease the amount that we feed these animals. So if your horse is at pasture and all he can eat pasture, he is never going to be able to lose the weight. So what you're going to do to that horse is number one, you're going to feed a high mature uh, quality hay. So it's a hay that is clean of weeds, it is not a dusty hay, so it's not a poor quality hay, it is just a hay that was harvested at a maturity level that already has seed heads, is a little bit more stemmy, and that way it doesn't provide a lot of calories, but it does provide uh, a lot of chewing for this horse to do. Uh, the other thing that you're going to do, if you are feeding this horse a concentrate, uh, so like sweet feed or pellets, you're going to have to stop feeding that because a concentrate, as the name indicates, provides a concentrated amount of calories in a small amount of feed. So what you're going to do, instead of feeding a concentrate, you're going to do the high, high mature hay and you are going to start feeding a ration balancer to this horse. So this is a balancer is where in one pound of pellet or however form it comes in, in one pound it provides all the vitamins and minerals that the horse needs for the day and it has very low calories. So you're going to start feeding the balancer for this horse, um, low quality or high mature hay. What you are going to do also is if this horse is the boss of his herd, and he, all he can do is like not let anybody else eat, you are going to have to put him away in a way that he is actually eating by himself so he doesn't eat everything that is in front of him. The other thing, the, on the other hand, if this horse is by itself and it is a sedentary horse, doesn't like to move, some of the tips would be to put a younger horse with him to make this horse move and increase his energy expenditure. Uh, the other thing is you need to put the waterer away from the fence line. Horses, for some reason, like to hang on 
and hang out in front of the fence line. And what you can do is put toys outside for the horse to play. You can put the water or the hay away from the fence line so this horse can actually walk towards something that he wants, which would be the water and the hay. So what you can do also is put this horse in a dry lot. So a dry lot is a place that there is no grass, it's just, as the name suggests, dry. So that way you can actually put the correct amount of hay that this horse needs per day. So a normal horse, a horse that weighs normally for maintenance, he needs about 2% of his body weight in hay. So for a thousand pound horse, he generally would be eating about 20 pounds of hay or hay plus concentrate a day. But for a fat horse, you cannot feed him the maintenance amount, you need to feed him a little less. So it'd be about 17 pounds of hay a day. One of the things that is important for you to know is that you can't just decrease totally the amount of hay that this horse eats. Number one, his GI tract needs the long stem of forages to work properly. And number two, chewing that hay gives the horse something to do and deters destructive behavior that bored horses can be known to do. And number three, the body actually expends energy and therefore uses its calories to actually digest the fiber. So about 40 to 50 percent of the body's maintenance is actually uh, digesting fiber. So if you cut that fiber to too little, the horse can actually stop losing weight because it's trying to uh, hang on to every calorie that it has. Uh, one other thing that you can do uh, as far as how to have this horse to lose weight is to exercise the horse. So if the horse has been cleared from all ailments and is actually in shape to be exercised, you can start at a walk for 15 days, 15 minutes a day, and then at a walk and a trot for so many minutes to the point that you are actually exercising this horse to 45 minutes per day. If these are not enough for this horse, and, and you need to be patient, it's going to take a while for these horses to lose weight, but if these tips are not enough to help him lose weight, that's when maybe you are going to need to introduce some medicine for these horses, such as uh, if the veterinarian has not ruled out uh, thyroid problems or EMS or Cushing's, or, which is now called PPID, or even insulin resistance. So, so another way to help this horse lose weight is to make it difficult for him to eat. And that would be the grazing muzzle. If you cannot restrict his access to pasture and you, don't ha you do not have a dry lot, you can put a grazing muzzle on this horse. You just need to make sure that the grazing muzzle has a hole that's too small for the horse to not eat all that he wants to eat. Another thing that you can do is add the hay for this horse if he's in an individual place uh, inside a slow feeding hay net. So this is a hay net that has very small holes and the horse has to really, really work and by working he's burning calories to actually be able to grab the hay. Because one of the things that we see is that these easy keepers or these overweight horses, if you just feed him the 15 pounds of hay at once, he's going to clear that in about an hour. And an hour a day, then that means that he has 23 hours to actually not do anything and become destructive. So these horses need something to do. So they, you need to prolong the time that he's eating by putting either uh, a hay net, a small whole hay net, or a grazing muzzle if your horse is going to have pasture access. So those are my tips.